Hi, this is Ramachandran from OnlineMathForAll.com. In our website OnlineMathForAll.com, students can find video tutorials like this, which will be much useful for them to prepare for computer exams like GMAT, GRE, CAT, and more. Okay, this video is about uh, difference between reflexive relation and identity relation. Often students confuse about reflexive and identity relation particularly the difference between reflexive relation and identity relation. What is the reason? So because always uh, the relation reflexive and identity will look like same but there is a difference. So there is a mild difference between reflexive and identity. So some students find it difficult to find uh, the difference between reflexive and identity. So in some competitive exams their question is given to find whether it is reflexive or identity. So that time students uh, may find it difficult to identify whether it is uh, reflexive or identity. Here I will explain you with an example. So how to find the difference between reflexive and identity. I am going to take uh, I am going to consider the set A. Set A is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 I consider three elements in set A now I am going to define two relations on set A the first relation is R1 so that is equal to 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 4 sorry 2 comma 3 1 comma 2 so this is the first relation defined on set A and also I am going to define relation 2 on the same set A so 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 so here we have uh, two relations defined on set A so here we have 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 in R1, in R2 also we have 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3. I say the first relation is reflexive. R2 is identity. And also it is reflexive. But in R1 we can't say that is identity. It is only reflexive R1, but R2 is both identity and reflexive. Okay, so before uh, we are going to talk about uh, whether it's both identity and reflexive or only reflexive, first let us try to find the difference between reflexive and identity. In R1, we have 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3. We say that is reflexive relation. In R2 also we have the same order pass 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3. But here we say identity. What is the uh, difference? Okay, I'll just write here. Sorry, one second. Students, please wait. Let me finish writing. Okay, I have uh, written uh, two sentences in green color. The first sentence is, if every element of A is related to itself, that is reflexive. Almost we have the same sentence for identity, that is, if every element of A is related to itself only. 
the difference is only so every if every element of a is related to itself that is reflexive if every element of a is related to itself only the word only so that is called identity okay i'll explain you with the sets r1 and r2 so in r1 uh, when we consider the relation r1 in set a the element one is related to itself and the element two belongs to a is related to itself and the element three is related to itself in r1 so apart from these three relations the element one is related to two so th th this is the thing we have to not notice here so initially the element one was related to itself apart from that the element one is also related to some other different element here too so this is reflexive but when we consider r2 one the element one in set a is is related to itself and two is related to two three is related to itself so the element one is related to itself and it has not been related to any other different element the same thing happens for the element two because two is related to itself and it has not been related to any other element and three is related to itself and it has not been related to any other element but in r1 two is related to itself and also two is related to some other different element so here every element of a is related to itself in r1 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 but apart from that one is related to two two is related to three that is an element is related to some other elements also some other different element also so that is why we say it's reflexive but in identity there is a condition every element of a has to be related to itself only i'm sorry i missed two here so every element of a is related to itself only and it should not be related to any other element so when you consider r2 1 is related to 1 2 is related to 2 3 is related to 3 and 1 should not be related to any other different element and 2 should not be related to any other different element 3 should not be related to any other different element so that is called identity so and also since uh, every element of a is related to its related to itself in r2 we say it is also called as reflexive so the main condition for identity is every element of a has to be related to itself only and any element should not be related to some other different element if we take a particular element on a it has to be related to itself only it should not be related to any other element like r1 because in r1 we have 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 every element of a is related to itself but apart from that one is related to two two is related to three that is one is related to some other apart from uh, apart from the relation to one one is related to some other different element two and also two is related to three so that should not be there for identity i hope the students can understand what is uh, what is the difference between reflexive and identity so reflexive is every element of a is related to itself that is reflexive and also when you have reflexive relation uh, an element can be related to some other different element also at that time also it's reflexive but in identity if you take an element in a it has to be related to itself only and it should not be related to any other different element and all the elements should be related to itself no element should be missing so because uh, we have three elements a in a one comma two comma three one has to be related to itself only one on one is related to one two is related to two three is related to three and one two three these three elements have not been related to any of the different elements so this is identity okay students uh, i hope now you have understood uh, the relationship between i mean the difference between uh, reflexive relation and identity relation for more videos like this please visit www.onlinemathforall.com thank you